Well, I'm playing Cyril Radcliffe, who was the man that was employed by the Attlee government back in England, back in Britain, to go out and draw the line, that is to partition India. And he was an interesting choice as a candidate for this job because he'd never been to India before. In fact, he'd never been out of Europe. My name's Paul Baisley and I'm playing uh, Jinnah, who is the leader of the Muslim League. So at the time of independence, uh, the Muslim League were very uh, determined to get rights for Muslims in a, in a Hindu-dominated India. So uh, Jinnah pushed for separate rights in a federal India, uh, in a power-sharing government. But they couldn't agree, and so what happened in the end was that the violence started, and um, they had to all agree that they would uh, split the country in two. He was, he was quite close to the royal family, he was related to, to the king, and um, he was sort of very high sort of status within the establishment and everything. And also he was very good with people um, on a one-to-one -one basis, and so and very diplomatic, brought up in those circles. So he was thought of as a good bet um, in those terms. My name is Silas Carson, and I'm playing uh, Jawaharlal Nehru who became the first Prime Minister of India. He, along with Gandhi and Jinnah, uh, set up the India Congress, the party that then became the Congress Party, which led India, and he was chosen as the leader uh, who would go forward to become the Prime Minister of India. Mountbatten was actually quite a sort of straightforward, kind of almost simplistic sort of figure, whereas Edwina actually was a lot smarter than he was in terms of understanding a lot more the sort of diplomacy and uh, the, the currents of feeling and so on in the, in the country. Where he's, he's a facet of history that not many people are aware of. I mean, they know that he was a great man and he did amazing things, but his actual character, I think people got the impression that he was a meek, gentle sort of old man, you know. Uh, and in actual fact, I think he was, he was a lot more feisty than that, you know. He was a militant, you know, he was a revolutionary. It's a new play by Howard Brenton, um, a new, uh, an amazing story, a piece of history that I knew something about, but I, didn't, I certainly didn't know about the specifics of drawing the line. Um, so yeah, for me it was just, yeah, thank you very much, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're great parts. I mean, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, as Lucy said, it's a wonderful story, uh, almost an unbelievable story that one man with no experience of India or map making was asked to go and create a line that would become two countries. It's an imagining of history of what may have happened. You know, it's based around solid facts and solid evidence, but it's, it's a version, it's Howard Branson's version of what may have happened. It's an interesting story about how empire still impacts on the world today. I've just done a show about um, modern day Kashmir and there's still a war going on now because of this line and where it was drawn. So I think it's important for, for a British audience to remember that the legacy of colonialism still goes on today. Because it's a fascinating story, it's not just political. The amazing thing about this, why write a play about politics? The reason is, if you have great characters in it, you have a great play, and this is a part of history where uh, the characters are just larger than life, extraordinary people, Gandhi, Nehru, Jinnah, the Mountbatten's, Attlee, they were all, you know, amazing people caught in an horrific time of history. I hope the, the audience are, are informed, um, but also the, the audience will be entertained because the, the play is very witty. It, it is, believe it or not, it's not a heavy number, it's not preachy, it's not a history lesson. It's, it's, it's funny, it's very dark as well, but it also really drives home through the humour and the wit, um, the, the enormity of that situation, historically what happened, uh, and the effect, the knock-on effect that it has to this very day, you know, politically. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great piece. It's a great piece.